Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In 1842, John Robinson, a Scottish textile manufacturer, constructed the state's first mechanically powered cotton manufacturing mill on the outskirts of Natchez. Robinson had come to Mississippi to build a cotton textile mill for the Mississippi Cotton Company of Natchez. However, the business suffered substantial losses in the nationwide financial panic of 1837. After a similar experience with the Port Gibson Manufacturing Company, Robinson used his own limited financial resources to build and equip a cotton and woolen mill himself. The Robinson Mill was a small two-story building powered by a 12 horsepower steam engine, capable of operating 60 wool spindles and 260 cotton spindles. Unfortunately for the number of reasons, Robinson's venture proved to be a disaster and it wouldn't be until after the Civil War that Natchez witnessed the creation of viable cotton textile mill enterprises. The Natchez Cotton Mill was created in 1878, employed 300 workers to operate 12,000 spindles and 330 looms. The Rosalie Cotton Mill, was created in 1884 and that employed 275 workers to operate 10,000 spindles and 300 looms. In the early 1920s, the two mills were later combined to create one of the state's largest cotton mills before they closed at the beginning of the Great Depression. This is Devin Collier, a sophomore at Adams County Christian School, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.